Hi, it's Ryan here from EcoPlusHome.com, and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about the mechanical room. But rather than me kind of muddle through and tell you what the things that I know, what I'm going to do is I've got a video from Mario Gross, who's a project manager from Bosch. And he explains the entire mechanical room in a press conference that we had last week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little clip of that rather than me try and muddle my way through it. So uh, why don't you check it out? To heat and to cool the house, we are using a geothermal heat pump, uh, which is manufactured in Fort Lauderdale here. It's called the Aquarius 2. And this is a two-ton heat pump. Uh, in kilowatt output, it's um, an uh, 11 up to 12 kilowatt output. And the input, electrical input, is just four kilowatt. And this heat pump uh, has, is connected to a ground loop system, so we have uh, two drills into the uh, yard with so um, a distance of 150 feet. And those brings the heat up to the, the heat pump. And uh, the heat pump is connected to a duct system where we rotate the air within the house. Incoming air will be heated up by the heat pump or will be cooled down by the heat pump. To make this system more efficient and to uh, reduce the amount of electrical energy we are using within the heat pump, there's a two-stage compressor. One stage is uh, it's for, for low output, the second stage for high output. We will place here on this wall an HRV unit, it's a heat recovery ventilation device which brings fresh air from the outside into the building to ensure that you have a high quality and fresh air available because the building is very sealed, so we minimize the heat losses and the fresh air, the intake air, comes into a so-called passive preheat and pre-cooling pipe which is sitting in the ground. It goes around the building before it enters the building. It comes into the heat recovery unit and from there it goes into the duct system. The exhaust or wasted air we take from the duct system, go through the heat recovery unit and then we push the air out uh, of the building. And so within the heat recovery unit we have a heat exchanger sitting and this heat exchanger can at least ensure so within the efficiency of 91%, then 91% of the exhaust air will be transferred to the fresh incoming air. But the fresh incoming air, especially during the winter time, it's very cold here in Canada. So we put the air first down to the, to the ground where the uh, passive piping is located and we heat or we preheat the, ground, uh, the, the outside air. And then it comes into the heat exchanger and we transfer already preheated or uh, hot air from, 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 from the building to the fresh uh, incoming air and then we keep the heat pump out of operation. So just the fan is uh, or ensures that uh, the air is rotating within the house. So both units working together ensures that the heat pump stays out of operation as long as possible and kicks in just if the demand is uh, big and, or bigger that the HRV can provide. A second thing is to um, provide uh, energy from, from, from coming from the sunny solar thermal energy. We have four solar collectors on the roof. Those are special collectors we call the SKS 4.0. Those collectors are hermetically sealed. They are not open vented. We have between the copper absorber and the glass window, we have a noble gas filled in called argon. And argon allows that heat can enter the ring the panel and it improves the efficiency, but heat does not disappear again. So those panels also uh, have an advantage in climate zones like here. As we saw this morning, we have a lot of humidity, a lot of condensate. An open vented panel, humidity goes in or condensate goes in and then the absorber is covered by, uh, by condensation or condensing water. In this case, it's not happened. So as long as the sun comes out, the panel can stop working. And also, a uh, big advantage is um, the, the, the glass window on those uh, solar collectors are safety glass. So it can stay or survive on, uh, on a hailstorm for instance, compared to evacuated tubes. Evacuated tubes are regular glass tubes, and if a hailstorm comes, it just can destroy the tubes. So for this region, those panels are the, the best solution. So those panels are connected to uh, pre-manufactured uh, copper piping, which are pre-insulated, with an uh, extension cable for the solar collector sensor. It comes down. At first, it charges a domestic water tank, 120-gallon tank, if the tank is satisfied, we have a 
valve which switch the solar circuit to the ground loop circuit of the heat pump. So we can preheat the ground loop and can support the COP value of the heat pump. That the heat pump does not run in the second stage, only in the first stage. It's like an efficient boiler. If the boiler or if you sit in the car and you hit your gas pedal very strong, very heavy, then the most fuel runs through your car. But if you touch your gas pedal just a little bit and keep your, your regular speed constantly running, this is the most efficient point you can run your car. But if you always push the pedal too much and give full speed, the same on, on heating equipment. If the heating equipment runs in full load, the efficiency goes down. If it runs in part load, the efficiency goes up. And the same principle we are using here in combination to those different units. Uh, this is uh, so the, the entire concept. And also, last but not least, to cover all the electric energy consumption of this house, we are installing on the main roof and on the garage so-called uh, photovoltaic uh, solar collectors collecting sun energy and transferring sun energy into electricity. Mm -hmm.